Ever wonder why there are different shapes and sizes of wine glasses? Well today, we're taking a journey, not into the vineyards, but into the world of these beautifully shaped glasses. We'll be exploring the evolution of wine glasses and why different types matter. But first, huh, let's get into that intro. Welcome to Beats and Wine Stories. My name is Steve. And I'm your host through this vast world of wine and the music that dances along with it. Join us as we journey through the sensory experiences that define cultures, awaken the palate, and stir the heart. So grab your favorite glass and let the journey begin. This is Beats and Wine Stories. The story begins in ancient Rome where glass-blowing techniques revolutionized how we drink wine. Early wine vessels were more about function than form. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and the shape of wine glasses begins to diversify, influenced by the wine culture of the times. But it was during the Renaissance when the design of wine glasses started to align more closely with the wine experience. The Venetians, with their superior glassmaking skills, led the way in crafting clearer, thinner glasses, allowing the wine's color to be appreciated. The real transformation, however, came in the 20th century. This is when we see wine glasses evolving to enhance the tasting experience. The shape, size, and even the rim of a glass are designed with purpose. Take the white, bold burgundy glass, for example. Perfect for capturing the delicate aromas of lighter red wines. White wines also have their own glass designs, like the narrower Chardonnay glasses, preserving floral aromas and maintaining a cooler temperature. And let's not forget the sparkling stars of the wine world, Champagne and Prosecco. The glasses for these bubbly delights are crafted with equal parts science and celebration in mind. The tall and narrow iconic champagne flute isn't just for elegance. It serves a purpose. The flute's design allows the bubbles to rise slowly, concentrating the aroma and enhancing the effervescence that is the hallmark of sparkling wines. There's also the champagne coupe with its broad bowl and vintage charm. While not as efficient as the flute in preserving bubbles, it offers a different experience allowing the aroma to breathe and the wine to open up. As for Prosecco, the preferred choice is often a tulip-shaped glass. It's a happy medium between the flute and the coupe, offering enough room to capture Prosecco's fruity and floral notes while still maintaining the lively dance of its bubbles. So whether it's a toast with champagne or a casual sip of red or white, remember that the glass in your hand is a vessel of science and art engineered to unlock the full potential of the wine's flavor and aroma profile. The right glass can transform a sip into a full sensory experience, revealing the subtle notes and character of the wine. So next time you choose a glass for your favorite wine, remember it's more than just glassware. It's a testament to centuries of culture, craftsmanship, and the unending quest to perfect the wine drinking experience. Although we've come to the end of another exciting episode, your journey doesn't have to end here. Remember to visit us at beatsandwine.com to pair wine and music with our app. Because as I'd like to say, life is too short for ordinary wine and music. So here's to extraordinary experiences. And until next time, cheers to your exceptional self.